Okay, Ben. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel announcing sex abuse charges in Lansing against five former priests. And three of them have ties to Metro Detroit. Jason Coltharp here to break down the charges and more about uh, these men. Yeah, very disturbing allegations, guys, that will largely spare you from hearing. These men were arrested yesterday all over the country, California, Arizona, Florida, and in Oak Park. And one was still working as a youth counselor in California, even advertising to help at-risk youth. I have seen some things that are incredibly disturbing. Attorney General Dana Nessel talking about the documents seized from several Michigan archdioceses last fall that have now led to 21 counts of criminal sexual conduct or rape against five priests. The attorney general's investigation indicates there are five victims between the ages of five and 26 years old, four boys and one girl. We found one where a priest who was discussing another priest's abuse of a child shared his own philosophy on sexual assault. And he explained that this child victim needed to simply admit that he teased, enticed, or gave permission for the abuse to occur. Four priests worked in Metro Detroit, Father Neil Kalina at St. Kiernan's in Shelby Township, Father Patrick Casey at St. Theodore's in Westland, Father Timothy Crowley at St. Thomas Rectory in Ann Arbor, and Father Lawrence Ventline in the Detroit Archdiocese as well. The statute of limitations prevented him from being charged, but his counselor's license has been suspended. All are charged with engaging in sex acts with children or a vulnerable adult. Having discovered that uh, a priest was abusing a child and then having the discussion be where should that priest go? Not, not should we go to law enforcement, but what should we do with that priest? Where should we put him so that he can still serve as a priest? But also, how much should we pay off the family of this child? The Detroit Archdiocese today said in a statement the allegations against its three priests were brought separately in 2015, 16, and 17. And each time, the men were removed and the allegations sent to police. Dana Nessel is a Democrat, and today she accused the Republican-led legislature of killing the funding for this investigation after she won the election last November against a Republican. You'll hear that part of the story coming up tonight at 6, guys. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't sound like they think that these were the only cases that were out there, either. They've got lots of roadblocks in front of them. They really do. They think they have some future cases, and they also weren't able to charge some of them that they came across this time for various reasons. Either it was over the statute of limitations, some of the priests had passed on, or the victims just weren't ready. And there is a phone number they want people to know about. It's, uh, if you scroll, yeah, there it is, 844-324-3374 if anyone has a tip about yeah. sexual abuse yeah. involving the clergy. We look forward to your report coming up at 6 yeah. as well. All right. Thanks, Jason.